First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize about how my voice might sound right now or my lack of energy or enthusiasm on the mic. J. Cole decided to be the first rapper of all time to apologize for a diss on the same two days that I get a uh, strep throat. My tonsils are the size of ball bearings. I'm on my deathbed and uh, I'm still here making content for y'all guys because that's how much I care. But really, where do we go from here, man? Like an apology for a diss record? Like I don't even want the beef to happen anymore between the three. We were about to see the three biggest sharks in the waters put themselves inside of a tank that was was too small and one was going to come out victorious but one of those sharks decided to apologize for the bite mark that he left on the other one like that kills all of the momentum that kills all of the energy all of the anticipation all the hype for me I don't even want Drake to respond at this point. And what did J. Cole say? He said that it was the corniest thing that he's ever done. And him saying that in my without 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 any kind of explanation of that leaves me two options in my head. He thinks that it's corny because he's trying to be like above and beyond. You know, he's trying to protect his peace, protect his spirit, trying to keep the negative vibes away, which is understandable, I guess. But if that was the case, you shouldn't have responded at all. Or is he saying that it's corny because it wasn't received well? A lot of people were calling it corny, and that's the problem with. Being a first reactor all right i did i did hype up literally every bar in there but after going back and listening to both there were some corny bars like the bar about the simpsons whack and then also the worst part of it all was saying that the pimp a butterfly was boring it might not be a high energetic album but it is literally arguably the greatest album of all time rap wise not even just rap across all boards you could teach a semester's long college course on the implications of that album and jake holds a smart enough dude to know that for sure. So are we calling it corny because it wasn't received well? If the if it was received with stellar reviews, oh shit, J. Cole body Kendrick, would we still be calling it corny? We as in J. Cole on stage during the apology, would he be apologizing? Or is he apologizing because he's like, damn, that was nowhere near the level it needed to be. I apologize for, for even putting this out and, and assuming that this was going to be good enough to compete. Like there's, there's all these different directions that it can go. But either way, no matter what he meant, he apologized. And that's just not something you do in, in rap beef. He literally just said it on this most recent album. Literally the one that that song is on. You hit some home runs, but you got to live with the strikes too. So apologizing and then saying you're going to delete the track off of the album and off of streaming platforms, like that's not living with the strikes. And this is going to put a lot of like, not undue pressure, but this is the direction that people are going to have when it comes to J. Cole now. They're going to see the value in what he did with the apology. He's going to be like, you know what? I don't even want this to escalate anywhere. I don't want to start dig digging into each other's personal lives. I don't want to start. I don't want to start any kind of beef that could potentially just completely ostracize the rap community or like our fans. And if he's apologizing because of that, all right, understandable. Rap beefs have been known to go a little too far. But what do we do now as J. Cole fans, you know? Like, I personally listen to J. Cole more than I listen to Kendrick Lamar. I listen to Drake the most because he makes the most chill, I can listen to everyday type music. Then J. Cole, and then Kendrick makes the most, like, artistic music, which is a heavy listen and not something that I'm going to listen to every single day. No doubting his pen. No doubting that the music's solid, but it's definitely not an everyday listen for me. And I feel like that's going to be the same about a lot of people. Ken, unless you're a diehard Kendrick fan, Kendrick's, Kendrick's music outside of Damn and, and Good Kid Mad City, it's heavy listens. But like now are we going to listen to J. Cole music with a different mindset? Like if he left it alone with no diss, and I'm not saying his diss was bad, but he put out valid points in my opinion on the diss, but let's just say the entire world didn't like the diss. That's not going to leave this like impression on people's minds as apologizing is because j cole is a true rapper in the sense that he feels he is the best and a lot of the times and a lot of his songs especially the ones where he's bragging and the ones where he's being threatening and he's saying like you know you come after my name it's not going to be good for you those bars are not valid anymore those bars aren't valid anymore because you apologize after somebody came after your name like now are we going to feel like yes j cole is still in the big three yes j cole is still an amazing lyricist yes he puts out solid music yes he deserves all the flowers that he can get but when when it comes to the bars where he's talking about people talking about him or he's talking about anything along those lines, are we going to be able to still listen the same way? And I truly don't know. That's my one worry is that when I listen to a J. Cole song, he's talking about how he's the best and he's talking about how he has his killer mode, killer instinct. Is that actually true? I respect the fact that you want to keep your peace. I respect the fact that you want to protect your energy. You know, you want to stay to yourself. You want to collab with other artists. You want to you want to bring only positive vibes into your life and you only want to bring uplifting vibes into other people's lives. I appreciate that. 
I get that. That's very manly of you. That's very mature of you to have that thought process. And I, I respect it heavily. But I do fear, I do fear that if you have any more bars in the future about someone coming after your name and how it's not going to be good for them, I do fear that this is going to put an asterisk on those bars. I feel it's going to give people a that side eye type shit, you know, like the, you're 0 for 1. And not 0 for 1 in the sense that you lost, but 0 for 1 in the sense that someone literally called you out and you did something but then retreated on it. The definition of not standing on business. I don't know. Y'all guys let me know. I don't know exactly how I feel yet. Uh, I got to go back in the album and listen now after this, after all of this happened. We might need more explanation from J. Cole as to why he did this. Because right now, like it, it could be too early to tell. Just like a first reactor's reaction could be too early to actually see how I feel about the album and the music after two, three weeks of listening. It could just be too early to tell right now. I mean, he doesn't have to, but he kind of does. <laughs> He needs to uh, explain, explain himself. Like you, you're making rap history right now by apologizing for a diss. Why did we do this? You ever been in a relationship, whether it be boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. You ever been in a relationship with someone um, who lets their mind run? And if you don't communicate with them, maybe you go a couple hours when, without talking to them unexpectedly. And you didn't let them know the situation as to why you were going to be gone for those couple of hours, 12 hours, 5 hours, 8 hours. And you come back and then you got to like... You're, you gotta like explain the situation because they were they thought that they were getting dumb by you. They thought you were out cheating, whatever the case. That's the position J. Cole is in right now. We as the rap community with no explanation as to why he did what he did, the rap community is going to run with it and it's not going to be in the good direction, I feel like. But y'all let me know. Appreciate y'all watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do surgery over my sink and cut out both of my tonsils. See y'all guys in like five weeks when that heals. Later.